hello leos welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a minute but i gave birth to my beautiful baby girl and now i am back like i never left i hope you all are doing great today let's go ahead and get into the reading Spirit, what messages do you have for the Leos? If that's a, if that's a, yeah, so that's the one I was looking for, and I don't know, I was looking for it yesterday. <laughs> messages for the Leos. Okay, Leo, straight off the bat, your energy. You are planning to move away, or you're planning to take a trip somewhere, vacation. Okay, let's see what this is. You got the three of wands. What else? Yep, this is. Yeah, you're making a decision to do this. What's the three of wands? The empress. Abundance. You're going to have Taurus or Libra in your chart. Highly aspected. Or this, this could be um, who you all are going towards. Yeah, I mean, let's keep going. What else? Somebody's in their head. There's some mental, like a mental, somebody feels like they're in a mental prison. Mental conflict. Knight of Swords. Oh, Lord. Mm. What's the judgment? Let's see. Yeah, there. Okay, so there could have been a recent breakup. And you're having to feel like, you know, or whoever this is, is having to pretend like they're okay about it, but they could possibly not be. What's the Eight of Swords? Queen of Wands. Leo, this could be you. Yeah. You're moving away from a commitment. What's the Knight of Swords? Someone's trying to come in fast, though. Queen of Cups. Okay, so this Queen of Cups could be coming in fast. Um, I don't know if they're trying to tell you something. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, this is also another mothering energy. Okay, what's the Queen of Cups with the uh, Knight of Swords? Yeah, cancer energy. There's some someone, this cancer, uh, there is someone coming in. They could be driving to your home. What's the chariot? Uh-huh, this could have been someone that you set boundaries with and you blocked off. Whoever this is. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Yeah, there was conflict. Who's this Queen of Wands? I mean, not who's this Queen of Wands. Yeah, who's the Queen of Wands? Because it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be per se you. Could it, be, it could be someone else. Ace of Swords. Yeah, so... It was some truth about something. Some truth came and somebody... It's under judgment for sure. Somebody feels betrayed about whatever news this is. Clarify the Empress. Who's the Empress? Now, you could... It's, it's a family situation, okay? You got the Ten of Cups here. There's a family situation going on. What's the Ten of Cups? Yeah, some competition... Okay, so this could be with someone that you have children with. What's the everything is fine card? Yeah, there goes there goes the child. Page of Wands, you could also have a fire sign child. Um, there was some news brought to you through a child, possibly.
maybe a child is feeling down and out because they feel like possibly um they're in the middle of this what's this page of wands yeah ten of swords it's something like it's a breakup that's what it is it's just a lot going on what else for the leos mm -hmm. pisces energy you got the hang one that's talking about feeling um this also talks about staying in one place um you know in your mind you know listening to yourself surrendering um thinking about something that's what i'm getting getting insight um from your inner self from your higher self and needing to surrender i think i already said that what's the hang one seeing something from a different perspective that's this five of swords this 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 fighting there's, that could be it too. There's a need to see something from a different perspective, or that's could be that could be what you're doing. What's the five of swords? Or that could be what someone else is doing. Okay, it doesn't have to be you. This ace of cups. You could, this could have been a fairly new uh, commitment. Okay, you... what's this ace of cups? Because you could be giving yourself more self love too. Okay, yeah. You feel, yeah, this is what it is. You, you could be having, um, with this, it's like you, you're needed to give yourself more self love because you got this 10 of wands. Like, this is a burdening card, like feeling overwhelmed with responsibilities, feeling weighed down, you know, still trying to push through, um, you know. Whoever this is that's trying to come towards you, you're protected from this person. What else for the Leos? You got the lovers. Hmm. This is someone you could uh, have had a past connection with. Yeah. What's the lovers? Queen of Swords, yeah. You're needing to make a decision, set boundaries with this person. This could be something that you already are doing or maybe you need to get advice on it, okay? Seek a wise counselor, a wise counselor, someone that is um, like a therapist, a counselor, whoever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To see what's going on because you're undecided right now. There's a lot of hurt, you know, and... Yeah, within this. What what else for the Leos? The high priestess. Yeah. There you go at the bottom of the deck. That's um inner that, that's the strength card. You're strong, you're strong minded, you're a strong person, okay? And Hmm. I'm you definitely need some advice when it comes to making a decision about a relationship. Yeah, about a connection with someone. You're also needed to listen to your intuition. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah. Five of Pentacles, leaving somebody out in the cold. So this is what a counselor could have probably already told you to walk away from something. You got the Eight of Cups at the walk away from someone, a situation. You have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the high priestess? It's just up to you to listen. You could be trying to avoid this. Something is like, it's like... You don't want, like, you're you're sad, you're mad, you're like, I don't want this to be over, possibly, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't for you. There's something else out there for you, and that very much so could just be you. 
It doesn't have to be anybody else. Um, and I feel like you know that. What's the high priestess with the four of cups? Yeah, because you're feeling discontent. We got the wheel of fortune right here, okay? This is fated to happen. This change that's coming in right now throughout all this, it, it's supposed to happen. Yeah, what's the wheel of fortune? This king of cups. Now, this is, yeah, <laughs> somebody that you with. Eight of Wands. Who's this King of Cups? This is somebody that... Let's see. Look. Okay, so look. There's a change coming. Okay, now, whether this for some people or this is just, you know, whatever. Rather you... I'm getting that there's like another... Another person... But anyways, okay, so there's something that you're not willing to see or someone is not willing to see about not not willing to accept about a change that's coming within a relationship, okay? I don't know what that person could be. Okay, yeah, maybe someone isn't willing to see, I'm saying someone because I'm not sure exactly if this is you or the other person, but somebody is not willing to see that something is not for them. What's this two of cups? The world, this is the, a completion to a cycle that this cycle needs to end. Yep. Yep. You got the temperance with the eight of wands moving forward. The divine, your ancestors, everybody, they're on your side. They got your back. It's just like you got to step out there on faith. Now, if this isn't the case for some of you. Um, I'm getting that there's someone that's not. Let me check. Hold on before I just keep on running my mouth. Yeah. What's this Ace of Swords? Yeah. That's what it is. You leaving. <laughs> you leaving. You leave. You leaving or you done already left. There's an ending. Um, cause you, you learned something about someone. That's what you was planning at the beginning. That's what this planning was to leave. Okay. Because you know who you are within this and you see that there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of competition. Okay. And there is children involved and somebody could be like in a, yeah, like somebody is like in a, like, it's like in a lack mindset, like a, a financial, like somebody feels like, I don't know, they could possibly like spend money fast. I don't know. What's this five of pentacles? Because it, it talks about financial poverty as well, leaving it behind in this home. Mm hmm Yes, financial poverty. There's a lot of sadness. There's like, it's like a roller coaster. Yeah, you're trying to heal, but you can't heal. You can still heal in this, but it's going to take way longer because it's like you're fighting. You're fighting it. If you aren't doing this, somebody else is, whoever I'm talking to. What's the world card? Yep, somebody's still holding on. Yeah, material possession. Like somebody is very possessive over this, but... I also get that with it with this ending comes you being able to hold on to your money. You being able to be more stable, financially stable when it comes to it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Here it goes. So you see this two of wands, that's making a decision. Okay. You got the Queen of Pentacles. 
okay um you could have um earth highly aspected uh taurus virgo capricorn that is a financially grounded uh, a grounded woman very warm-hearted you know and this is saying you can you are on the track to become the queen of pentacles but you have to walk away the eight of cups because right now your money is stuck it's in one spot. Like, you're not building nothing. Nothing is happening. You got the death card right here. I'm just pulling it how I see it. You, there's an ending. Death and transformation. There's an ending. Either it needs to happen or it hasn't happened. Or it, um, uh, it's coming in. You got the two of pentacles balancing out. Like, balancing. You, It's a need to do this in order for... You, something that because this isn't for you whatever this is this isn't it's just constant it's constant stress and sadness and i don't even i don't know why you would want to feel like that you know it's it's you know i've been there before it just doesn't feel good all right yep two of one okay let me see what i got for you all okay let's pull some of these self-love cards yeah somebody don't like it like it's like these it's some it's somebody else okay this could be it could be a water sign this water sign they this is a person that's jealous of what you have okay this person is jealous of what you have within your family that's one situation that you're going through okay in the midst of possibly um trying to like going through your own conflict within your relationship too like it's like damn <laughs> you know it's like one thing after the other and nobody nobody wants to deal with that that's a lot of toxicity like that's that's too much especially when you got kids involved what else know your intuition that's your guidance for your highest good see oh these are flipped though uh-oh nope these little cards just be falling on the floor. Let's see if I drop some. All right. Now, this is advice right here. This card, chin to chest and stretch the back of your neck. Stand up, reach high, and grab a star with two hands. Look into the mirror and give yourself a compliment. Repeat to yourself three times, I love you, and say your name. Tell yourself you love yourself three times. Okay, do this as much as you can. Check your pulse and control this beats to slow, calm rhythm. So let's say that you all are still in this right now. Some of you um, or whatever. It's, this is guidance to help you get through it until you get out of it. Okay, because I'm getting a breakup, like a, this, a decision to break up. But it, it because, you know, whatever. But um maybe you're needing some guidance because of a breakup because it brought a lot of conflict and um competition like you know it knowing your worth is something else it really is let me get an ancestor or angel message let's see what we on 18 holy spirit messages for the Leos. Well, what message do you have for the Leos? All right. That's you right there. Fire, passion, voice, singer. What did I get with that? The last time when I, I just feel like, yeah, you got a lot of um, ancestor messages. Yeah, we got shadow darkness in reverse. Mm-hmm. Moon cycles in reverse. Yeah, y'all are needing to meditate too. Like, meditate on this. Breathe. This person on this card is doing yoga. Meditate. Not yoga. Gosh. Whatever. You maybe need to do that too. This person is meditating. You could need to meditate during the moon cycles. Okay, because there, there's a lot of sadness within and around you. And 
it's time to come up out of that. But I'm sure that you already know it. All right, Leos, that was your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment um, if this reading resonated with you all. All right, talk to you soon.